Hello, friends, and welcome to another video lesson from DBOS Talks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and click the bell so you can be notified of new uploads. This video is in the playlist called Excel Formulas, and here we will learn how to do addition and subtraction of dates in Excel formulas. So dates, as you probably know, have some similarities to numbers in that you could do addition, some addition and some subtraction. Addition to and subtra subtraction from dates. So let's look at some scenarios uh, of what we can do, the do's of addition and subtraction of dates. So first scenario is date plus number, which uh, the result of which is a date. Date plus a number equals some future date relative to the date you've given. So let's enter something in the formula field. And if you have, uh, you're familiar with creating formulas in Excel, or if you have watched my previous videos in this same playlist, then you would know that to begin making a formula in Excel, you enter an equal sign. So let's do that. And date plus number. So I will either enter a hard-coded date value, or I can just click on a cell containing a date value. In this case, this, these two here. I will use these two fields called date one and date two. So I will say equals, and then click on one of them and then plus a number, maybe 10, and then enter. So it ends the formula. If I navigate my focus to the cell itself, then even though it uh, displays to you the date value for January, 2025, if you go to the formula bar, you will see the formula, which is equals F4 plus 10, meaning the value of field or the cell F4, which is this plus 10. So the value of this field, the one called F4 is 25 December, 2024. And if you add 10 days to that, which was what the formula is saying, then it results to this date, 4th January, 2025. So that's how you do addition of dates. You don't add the dates, but you, in this case, you are adding a number to a date. That number corresponds to number of days, okay? So the second scenario we'll be looking at is date minus number which results to a date, a new date value. Let's do that. So again, in the formula field, I will start by entering an equal sign. And then I will pick either, I will enter a date value after the equal sign, or I will click on a cell which contains a date value. So I will click on this, and then I will do a minus, and then I will think of a number that I wanna minus from this date value, let's say 120, and then enter. So I'm saying equals the value of this field G4, which is the date to field, 4th in July 2024, minus 120, meaning minus 120 days, or like it's saying 120 days before this date, then it becomes this date. So 4th in July 2024 minus 120 days equals 16 March 2024. That's the new date. So that is allowed. Date plus number is allowed, which is also a date, a new date value, which is future dated. And date minus number is allowed, and it results to a past date value, past relevant or relative to the date you have given. Okay, the third scenario we'll be looking at is date minus date, which is um, if you're familiar with um, SQL and other programming languages, then you would um, you would see the same kind of behavior, the same kind of result from doing this manipulation, this processing. Okay, so this scenario is date minus date, which results to the number of days. It will come out as a number, but that number, bear in mind, refers to the number of days difference between the two dates you're given. You have given. Okay, so let's do that. Equals, I will say this minus this date value. Okay, so I clicked. See what I did? Equals, I click on the field that I want to use for my date value, and then I type a minus. And then I will click on the second field, which holds a date value. When I enter, it finishes the formula and it results to a number, which corresponds to the number of days difference between the two dates you have given it. Okay, so if we navigate again to that field, to that cell, and then go to the formula bar, you will see the formula is equals F4 minus D4, meaning the, the formula means it will compute the value of F4, this field, minus the value of this, it corresponds to, or it will result to the number of days difference between those two days, okay? Those are the do's. Those are the things that you're allowed to do in uh, involving dates as far as uh, addition and subtraction of dates in Excel formulas. Now let's go to the don'ts. 
okay, addition and subtraction of dates, these are the don'ts. One is date plus date, which results to an incorrect value. It may give you a numeric value, but it doesn't really make sense. And in reality, you cannot add date to a date. It just doesn't make sense. So let's do that anyway. So I'll add, I will start my formula with an equal sign and then uh, click on a date value, this, and then I will say plus, and then click on the second date value and then enter. So it gives you a numeric value, which actually doesn't make sense because in reality, you cannot add a date to a date. It just doesn't make sense. You can do an addition to a date or you can do a subtraction from a date, but you cannot do an addition of two date values. It just doesn't work. It will give you a numeric value of some sort simply because a date ha has a numeric value internally as far as uh, Excel or some other programming language is concerned, okay? So that's incorrect value. It will give you some value, but it doesn't really make sense. Better not do this, okay? Second scenario that it's a don't is number minus date. Although you could do a date minus number, as we've seen in the do's here, date, plus num uh, date minus number scenario two, you cannot say number minus date. It's just an error, okay? Let's do that equals. I will click on a number. No, I will enter a number or I could click on a cell holding a number value is also okay. So I will say 100, 100 minus, and then I could either enter a date value or I could click on a cell field which holds a date value. I could click here and then enter. And this is what it does. This is not because uh, it's lacking in column width. I could increase that and still it's showing those hashes there. So meaning it's an error. Excel doesn't understand what you're trying to do. So it's a don't. Don't do this date plus date and also don't do this number minus date. The only things you can do at least are these three at least, okay? date plus number, although you can also do a number plus date, which um, reminds you of the associative property, I believe, of addition in mathematics. But these are the safe ones you can do. Date plus number or number plus date. Date minus number, which results to a past date relative to the date you have given. And finally, date minus date, which results to the number of days difference, okay? Thank you for watching and listening. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and click the bell. And I'll be seeing you in the next video.